Hey guys, so something I had wanted to do all this year, it's already July and I haven't started it, but I'm starting it now, is share some ideas for books that you could possibly be reading for the Read Your Bookshelf Challenge. So if you haven't heard of the Read Your Bookshelf Challenge, it's one that I do every year. Every month has a prompt. There's also a $100 giveaway to go with it. The details for the giveaway will be below. You have a chance to enter every single month and then I do the draw at the end of the year. Um, so for August, our prompt is a book with a body part in the title. And sometimes I make these prompts and then realize afterwards how hard they are. So there's only three books on my red shelf that I could find at least that fulfill this prompt, but I have more on my TBR. So I'm gonna start by sharing the ones that I've read and enjoyed. And then I'm gonna go into books that are like my possibilities for this because I have a few options and I'm not sure yet which one I'm going to read. So let's see here. We'll start with one of my absolute favorites. And that is Agatha Christie's The Moving Finger. Finger is obviously a body part. I'll be honest, I may be stretching it a little bit with some of these. Yeah, stretching it a little bit. That's okay, it's my challenge, I get to do that. I'm also allowing you to do that as well. Uh, so this is an Agatha Christie, it is a Miss Marple. This is the third Miss Marple in the series. And just because it's a Miss Marple, don't get super excited like I do. Um, she's not a huge player in the story. She really only comes in in the last like 20% of the book, 15% of the book, and doesn't say much. But she's just amazing like she always is. Uh, so this is obviously a mystery story. Then, okay, here's a stretch, because it's supposed to be a body part, and my word is body, but I'm going with it. Uh, Whose Body by Dorothy L. Sayers is the first book in the Peter Lord Peter Whimsey series, and I read this one, I don't know, maybe in the fall, and I enjoyed it. I'm curious to read more. Um, this is, like, obviously a detective story, so it's very much in the same veins as Agatha Christie, written around the same time. This one has to do with an uh, unknown man found in an architect's flat and there's some suspicious things going on obviously there's murder so there's that one and like the body part again i'm using the word hair so snow white with the red hair this is a manga series that i was just introduced to in may i got the first two books for my birthday from a subscriber and i've been reading through this series and really enjoying it uh so the first book the first volume takes place kind of it has the snow white vibes and the rest of it just goes off so our main character has red hair and the prince in her kingdom wants her as one of his concubine concubines as a result because the hair is just fascinating i guess they that's why he wants her and she runs away ends up making friends in the woods of the next kingdom and it turns out one of them is the second prince of that kingdom and yeah, so I've read the first four volumes now, I think. So those are three that I would recommend. I've been read and enjoyed. Now these other ones are currently on my TBR. This one is on my TBR cart, or supposed to be. Um, this is Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. So this is a science fiction superhero story, I think. I actually haven't even read the back. I kind of don't want to. Um, there's a good chance I'll be reading this for a Patreon uh, spoilery reading vlog for August, at least as of right now. When I'm filming this, I should actually know by the time this goes live, but when I'm filming this, it's definitely a possibility that I will be reading with this for that. And if that's the case, then I'm not going to pick it, probably not going to pick it for my TBR. Um, yeah, but I actually really want to read this one in August, so I feel like some way I will probably be reading it in August. Then one that I just hauled is Hind's Feet on High Places. This is a Christian allegory, and judging from people's comments, people love this book. Um, possibly even more than Pilgrim's Progress, which I read that one in high school and quite enjoyed it, but not like I'm not a huge allegory person. So this is a possibility because we got feet. So we had heart, feet, hair, body, finger, and now we've got a face. This is another one that I just hauled, a face for Picasso. Um, I shared quite a bit about this one in my last haul. Pretty much this, there's twins that have a disease, is that the right word, a syndrome, where a, all the bones in their head were fused too early, or some of them. My daughter had the same thing, but only the one bone fused too early, so they had to do surgery. But these twins have had to go through more 
surgeries and this is a memoir by one of the twins very interesting very much want to read that um i really need to take this like library stuff off of here um this is the heart of memory and there's actually i was surprised that there wasn't more heart books there's a few and i got this out of a little free library a long time ago and i don't know anything about it so it's by allison strobel it is christian fiction savannah expected to receive a new heart but she didn't expect to lose her faith she comes gravely ill she has to face the sham that her faith has become. Days before her heart transplant, she vows to change her ways and she renews her relationship with Christ. But when she awakens from the surgery, Savannah rediscovers her faith has left her completely. Oh, that's actually very interesting. I'm curious to read that one. I should maybe, like, I never want to read the back because I don't like spoilers, but like, I sometimes that makes me more interested in a book. Okay, we've got another heart one. The Heart Reader of Franklin High. This is a Terry Blackstock book. And I think it's a contemporary fiction book, which she doesn't generally write. She's more like um, suspense. I first heard about this on my Patreon, actually. Uh, so it says, one minute he was snoring in his bed, the next minute he was having the strangest dream. And now, well, now Jake is hearing things, voices from people all around him. Okay, so maybe this is like a supernatural kind of vibe to it. Um, then we have Till We Have Faces. Is Faces a body part? Mm, it's going to be for this one. So this is A Myth Retold. This is a C.S. Lewis book. I gotta say, I'm probably not gonna pick this one up because I feel like C.S. Lewis needs a lot of my brain space. And this is a Greek myth that he's retelling. And I just feel like August, like the end of summer is not really my time for this, but I would like to read this eventually. And then I have one more that I found in my all my books that has a body part in the title and that is in the teeth of evidence oh so this is another dorothy l sayers um these are actually i think all my only two books that i own by her and they're both like body part is, is a tooth a body part i'm gonna count it and body but like i wonder if that's kind of a theme with a lot of her books uh so this is the first book in the lord peter whimsy series and this one is a collection of short stories i believe Oh, with teeny font. So, interesting. I think this... Oh yes, it has some Lord Peter Whimsy stories, some Montague Egg stories, and some other stories. So there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17-ish stories. Um, so, I'm curious about this one as well. Um, so, three recommendations and a bunch of possibilities for my TBR. If you guys have a suggestion on which of these I should add to my TBR, leave them in the comments, especially if you've like really enjoyed the book or something, because I'm curious about it. Ooh, this is a bit very off topic, but I just actually saw, I didn't look at this without a dust jacket. How often do you have like a pink book? That's cool. Okay, that was a tangent. Thanks so much for being here, guys. Let me know um, a book that you are going to be reading for the body part in the title, because maybe your ideas will spark some other people's ideas. Thanks for being here.